Hey everyone, today we have a beginner's makeup look and it's just using one eyeshadow. Now I'd recommend to use a shimmery shadow as this has lots of colours within the eyeshadow and it's going to give depth and definition to the makeup look without even trying. It's perfect as well if you're going to a festival and you need to pack light, you only need to use the one eyeshadow to achieve a really nice makeup look. As always, the products will be over on my blog and if you want to see how I created it, then just keep watching. As always, I'm going to prime the eye area with an eyeshadow primer. If you don't have one of these, don't worry. Just take a bit of your foundation and a little bit of your face powder and apply it on top. And this is going to provide the perfect base for your eyeshadows. So next you're going to take your eyeshadow of choice. I'm using this kind of taupey brown shade. Like I said, try and pick up an eyeshadow that's shimmery because this will already have different flecks of colour in it. So it makes it much easier to give some depth and definition to the eye makeup look. So once you've applied the colour all over the eyelid, then we're going to work on our shape. I always opt for an elongated eye shape as that's just my preference. So I'm taking my definer brush and I'm starting to pull the colour outwards towards the end of my brow. Then you're going to want to start from that line and sweep the colour inwards onto the lid into the crease area. Now I'm just picking up a bit more eyeshadow on a fluffy blending brush and I'm blending this right into the crease of the eye. So I'm using that line as well as a guide which is why I tend to use this kind of eye shape. I think it's easier to apply and blend my shadows. Then take a clean blending brush and just buff along those edges. Now what I've done is I have actually wet my brush and I'm applying the eyeshadow wet to the center of the lid and as you can see it's really picking up those gold tones which is giving some more depth to the eye makeup look. Now I'm going to go in with my blush and I know it's kind of strange but you don't have to use um, only products that are meant for the eyes. Just because it says they're meant for the eyes it doesn't mean you can't use them anywhere else. So I'm using my blush as a crease colour and the pink actually helps to really soften out the makeup look and it's going to match the eyes well with the face makeup look later on. Now I'm taking that brown again and I'm sweeping it along my lower lash line and then I'm taking the eyeshadow wet in the centre of the bottom lid. So this is going to help open up the eyes if you've quite small eyes. Then I'm going to curl my lashes so I'm just giving them a good squeeze and then I'm using my finger just to feather out the lashes to make sure they're nicely separated before I apply my mascara. Then my mascara of choice, I'm using this number 7 one. If you use this one, make sure to wipe off the excess mascara. And I'm just applying this liberally to my top and bottom lashes. So if you want to, you can take your face highlighter and apply this under the arch of the brow to make that area pop. And as you can see, the makeup look isn't very flat even though we used one eyeshadow. Now we're going to move on to the face. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take that blusher that I used in the crease of the eye and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks and I'm blending the colour backwards. I'm not using any contour colour, only a highlighter now. I want to keep the makeup look very soft and girly. So I'm taking a nude gloss now and that's going to finish off the entire makeup look and tie it nicely together. So as you can see, it's still a brilliant makeup look even though you only used one eyeshadow. So thanks a million for watching and I'll see you in my next video.